Hi, um, this is a small video on uh, typewriter functionality in Kiran's Typing Tutor. Um, the reason for the typewriter functionality is uh, there is a resurgence of uh, typewriter enthusiasm in the West, uh, especially in the US and Europe. Uh, lots of people buying, uh, the, buying the old typewriters and using them. And not only that, and they have a fan clubs and type out events and things like that. Um, this typewriter functionality is to provide a simulator um, of typewriter. Uh, so people who don't have a typewriter in their home, and they can try it out how the typewriter works. So all the functionality that are related to the typewriter are provided. So it pretty much behaves like a typewriter. To open it, to open the Kiran's Typing Tutor, and then click on the typewriter icon, it will open it. Uh, for a better viewing, and if you have a smaller um, screen or something like that, then you can uh, you know, uh, make it full screen so that you can use the typewriter much better. So let me go through the top to down functionality. In the top, you can see this is a paper scale. And then next to that, and these are the margin setup. You can set up a paper margins, uh, left margin and right margin. And this one is called carriage release. Uh, in every manual typewriter, you see all these functionalities. I'm showing it to you. And carriage release is essentially you can use this lever to move your carriage left and right. Um, so those are the carriage release. And then this one uh, on right side is a paper release. Um, so in a typewriter, you press this lever to remove paper, uh, things like that. So you can work with the paper. So here also you can see the view paper and remove paper option is there. And this one, this this uh, this lever is a carriage return lever. So when you type, and then when you want to go to the next line, and this is what you you push and pull so that it will take you the next uh, line. This is called carriage return. These are the knobs uh, so that you can uh, move paper up and down like this. Uh, so those are the knobs. And um, this, this one, uh, this button is a tabs button. One is the left side and another is the right side. The right side one is to set the tab and left one is to clear the tabs. The tabs, setting the tabs, clearing tabs is that, uh, for example, in computer you have a fixed tab like you know, four, four characters or whatever. But here you can set tab wherever you like. For example, if I want to set tab over here and I can just simply move our carriage to this place and then simply click this uh, tab set button. So when I press the tab and it will come to this. So I can set as many tabs as, you, as I like. And those are the tabs. Here, this one, you can see it red and um, black. This is a ribbon in, um, in, in, in a real typewriter, manual typewriter. Um, the ribbon moves from you know, uh, left to right or left to right, depending on you know, uh, which direction it is set. And then type bar sit on the, this tape. So that is what imprints on the paper. Um, so this is uh, tape. Um, and then if you come down, this is pretty much keys you normally press. Uh, in this case, you don't have to press these things. You can use your keyboard to press the keys. Uh, but this is a typical uh, keyboard of the typewriter. And left side, you can see H, M, and L, heavy, and medium, and light. This is how hard you want to hit type bars on a paper. If you set heavy, and they will hit very heavy, and it will be thicker. And medium is that head medium and light is that light and I'll show you all these things in, in functionality. On right side you see this uh, black, red and uh, uh, white uh, buttons or uh, options. So these are the ribbon selection options. So black means that currently it set the black option so that it prints the black and then if you select red so that it comes to a red font. And then this is a stencil, it doesn't do anything, uh, essentially. Even in a manual typewriter, it doesn't do anything. So the left side, there are three, three options you can see over here. Uh, so this is a correction fluid, means that you know in a real type machine or typewriter, once you type and you cannot erase that easily, if you want to type different letter on top of it, so you have to use some correction fluid 
so that's what it is and the load text file is that you know previously typed text file if you want to load that one you can load it but loading paper if you just uh, put your cursor over here and load paper and that loads the paper uh, before loading the paper you have to remove the existing paper once you remove the existing paper it will go into the right side type papers box in this box here there is a right side you can see this modernize options these modernized options are not really options of the manual typewriter, but these are more like an electric typewriter. But whoever wants to use some additional features, for example, if you want to go to next line with a written key, rather than just pushing and pulling this, uh, this carriage written lever, so if you want to use your keyboard written key, that is more like an uh, electric typewriter functionality. So in order to use those functionalities, you need to turn on this one click this button and you can turn on these options. There are return key option if you select this and your return key works like um, uh, in a normal computer. And if you want to move carriage return uh, and scroll up and down with your arrow keys and turn on this one. Type over I previously said, if you type one time and then you cannot erase that character. If you want to type another time, it will just type uh, on top of the existing character that may not look clean. So if you want to behave like an usual word processor, like any you know, text editor or a word or something like that, and you can select the type over option. So then it behaves like a normal word processor. And typefaces, changing the typefaces button is essentially you want to change uh, your font of this paper. You can uh, select this typeface. So I'll show you. Uh, so let's. Uh, Start. Uh, let's start. Oh, there is another one I forgot. Here, there is one, two, three number. You can see these are the line spaces. So, if you want, when when you hit the carriage return or a return key, if you want to go for one line space and you select one or two line space, two or three. So you can select it. Okay. Uh, let's start. Let Let's start typing it. Just to type. And just your keyboard. I'm not sure you're hearing while I'm typing. So just hit your own keyboard, so that's how you types. Uh, as I said, if you want to type it over on some of the character, for example, if I now type something else, you can see it is not removing the previous character. It is still keeping that, so you may not see it clearly. So if you want to erase any of those, then you can use the correction fluid, for example, and then you can erase like that. Now if you type something else, and it will be much more clearer. It is realistic same as your uh, manual typewriter. So to go to next line, you simply just uh, press and then uh, push this uh, carriage return like this. Now so if you want to remove your paper or view paper and you can view your paper, and when you view paper, you have option to save, print, or even delete option here. But if you want to remove the paper, and you can remove the paper, it will go to this um, uh, this bucket over here in the bottom. And then now you cannot type. There is no paper. And now if you want to type, and you need to use the paper. And now the paper is loaded. There is a one uh, thing I can uh, show you. For example, if I put a margin like that, for example. So, you cannot type beyond the margin. It stops there. You can see the font types are beyond the margin. But in manual typewriters, there is a key provided called a marquee or a margin release key. So, let's say that they, you want to just type one more character over there instead of going to the next um, line. And, uh, and on typewriter, you can press the margin release. In our case, you can press the escape and then it allows you to type further like that. So that is the margin release. And I said um, the ribbons, you can change ribbons. For example, if I say a red ribbon, you can change it. And then stencil doesn't do anything. As I said, it's just a stencil. And I can go back to black. And then if I select heavy over here instead of me, much thicker, uh, heavier appearance. And if I select light, and it so that's what this strength selection, and then this is a ribbon selection. 
and the tabs I previously said, for example, if I want to set the tab over here, for example, I can set the tab over there, and then if I go to line, and if I now hit the tab, it will go straight into that space. So you can see, straight there I can type, I can set as many tabs as I want, and I got to clear the tabs, and I can just click the tab and clear it. And then margin, uh, sorry, carriage release, I told you, you can move like that. And then paper uh, release also, I showed it to you. Um, and this one, modernize options. Uh, these are not the manual typewriter options. But whatever the reason, if you want uh, additional features, they're more like an electric typewriter features. And you can turn this on. You can see now these are turned on. For example, now I can turn on return key. Now if I press return key, and carriage return is automatically pressed and pushed. So it automatically happens. Similarly, I can change the typefaces as well, uh, but it will ask me to remove the existing paper. I can see, remove the paper because only, I cannot change the typeface on the existing paper. I need to remove it, and then I can, if I want, I can change I don't know whether uh, this particular pop-up is within the screen capture, but I just change the uh, typefaces into different typefaces. So these are different type fonts uh, as previously uh, previously it was different type fonts. So everything is behaves exactly the same as manual typewriter. Um, the purpose of this is that, for example, if you want to learn uh, typewriters before buying an actual typewriter, uh, this is the uh, uh, functionality you need. Or, um, you know, that uh, you see that some of the typewriter enthusiasts and you want to know more about the typewriter, um, you want to use it as a simulator, you can use it as well, um, this one. So that's the purpose of this. Uh, or even if somebody is a typewriter, they never worked on a uh, computer, that is a rare possibility, but let's just for argument's sake, and somebody really worked on typewriters all their life, and they want to have a transition to the computer. And this is the best way to they can trans, they can do their transition, because they can use all the functionality on this typewriter and slowly they can uh, click the modernize and add additional functionality. Finally, they can start using the word processor. So that's all uh, about the typewriter. Um, that's it from me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.